Got a black eye, surfing Mavericks. Basically thought I could go left, hit a chop, dove down, got sucked over the falls. I hit so hard on the bottom and went so deep, I thought my ears were gonna pop, and it felt like somebody just punched me in the face, and I literally got a black eye from that. And I didn't even pull my vest. I hit so hard, both cartridges, front and back, blew up. Fortunately, that happened and it didn't pop the bladder. When I was getting sucked over the falls, I was just at that apex and Mavericks is just an absolute slab and I just hit so hard it felt like I jumped off the top of this roof here on a concrete. I think it just a chunk of water just hit me perfectly in the eye and it just felt like I got punched in the face. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then Bianca Valenti was like, hey, you got a black eye. And I'm like, what? I got a black eye? I just thought I got like slammed really hard. And as the days progress and the more airplanes I've ridden, just, it's gotten worse. Hopped over from Maui. I brought everything as you could imagine. Foils to tow boards to surfboards. It's gonna be no wind and we're gonna take full advantage, I think, on the outer reefs, the inside reefs, the barreling waves, the mushy waves. Whatever it is, we just gotta make sure all the daylight is spent in the water. Ooh, it's time to eat. Thank you. It's a rough life at the Komodo. Thanks to Doug and Matias. Thank you, sir. My pleasure, bro. Wow. Let's go. In case there's a blizzard or we need to go on sand, we got a quad with treads on it. Whoa. Kelly gave it to Ross for a gift, I don't know, like maybe 20 years ago. He gave it to one of our mutual friends and then I, I've had it for the last like 12, 15 years. We have a 30 year old Almeric here and Doug, put the mink on it, which is brand new, basically space age technology. And that takes it to the next level of speed and performance. To bring this 30 year old board into the 21st century. It's this material that this sticker is made of, it doesn't actually hold bubbles. If you do get a bubble, you can push it out. So it's like a cool sticker technology. See, everything needs to evolve. See, I just put it down. I grab maybe a towel because it's like smoother over the surface. I start in one corner and I just work my way to the other edge and that way no bubbles can be in there. And look, it's nice and smooth, hydrodynamic. Let's go. Man, the surf is so good here on the North Shore. 80 feet or an inch high and Maui is maybe the best island, but everything else in between. Just show up here, it's glassy and spitting barrels left and right. In the back of my head, I I want to be a goofy footer. Tom Carroll was my favorite surfer when I was a kid and just the fact that I really can't do it is a little discouraging. However, persistence breaks resistance and I'm going to continue to train my best and, you know, become a goofy footer. What is that thing? Look at that wild animal. Meow. Oh my god. Here, little one. The timing. Where is it going? Phoebe? I'm gonna name her Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe, what are you doing? <laughs> Phoebe, oh. Phoebe! <laughs> okay, now Phoebe's headed back. It's like, whoa, there's a peanut butter jelly. Just staring down the beach, Sunset Beach is looking really good. And it's one of my favorite waves on the North Shore. I think because it kind of represents a big wave and it was one of the first big waves in surfing that people started riding. And I got a ton of really good boards that I want to try out there. So I'm going to drag these guys out to a little bit bigger waves and see if we can do more than just a cutback.
great testing out there. Uh, I basically came to the conclusion my lighter one still felt better. Um, I didn't actually take out my mid-weight board, so I think that's the next test is following session, bring the mid-weight board out and just see if that will work better. But overall, I'm really stoked. The actual shape and rocker of these boards are insane. And I think if I could get in a contest and uh, you know get a bunch of waves, I'll be able to throw down some big turns. Both Barton and Doug caught a wave together, and you know when you have two really good surfers on a wave, they're able to make use of the entire canvas and do crossovers, and it's honestly some of those beautiful surfing you can watch. It was just funny, we were just laughing the whole time on the wave, and we were just like synchronized surfing, because we've done that a lot before with Tom. We just brought back some really old school, wonderful memories. Yeah. I am just so stoked I was able to hop from Maui over here to Oahu. The surf is just so much better over here and really felt like I could improve my skills with Coach Doug. On this trip, I was definitely testing some different equipment with the weighted boards, but also just focusing on technique, having the right hand placement, having the right body posture, being able to read the ocean the best possible way. And all those reminders are what help me when the waves get really big. And then of course, when the waves are very small. The Komodo provides Etienne Aurelius with the fish sticks, second to none. Fish nuggets from a superstar Hollywood producer and director. Gonna change everything. Greatest of our generation. <laughs> Had really a lot of fun out here at Haleiwa. Got some good turns, it's fun surfing with some of the best in the world. Just riding with them gets you really inspired and I was already making adjustments down the wave and at least I got some adrenaline from that little airdrop. Of course, I was caught inside on my 5.7. I just had to whip it and go. It was kind of like, remind me of surfing Mavericks a week ago. The fun isn't over. We're gonna take the jet ski out. Toe foiling, toe surfing because we've already done enough paddling for the day. Getting caught inside, you know, paddling a mile back out to sea to catch another wave. If the ski doesn't start, I'm just gonna ride it in the yard. But otherwise, we're gonna go rip, tear, lacerate, and shred. All right. It's settled. We had an amazing day in paradise on the North Shore of Oahu, surfed a bunch, foiled, got to take the jet ski out and mainly just drive this quad around. So that was probably the highlight. This day is going to be pretty hard to top. <laughs>